in Kjalsfeldt and Yamaguchi. As they get out on court, I know, Kirsty, you have a history with um, Lena Kjalsfeldt in terms of matches you've played. Scottish Open, Swedish Masters. Oh, many, many more. <laughs> and, and the rest. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, Lena is one year younger than me, I think. So uh, I think the first time we played each other, uh, she was 15, I was 16. Wow. At the under-17 European Juniors. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then it's, uh, yeah, been... We must be in double figures now. I always find it amazing that, that players can just really pick out and remember yeah. each of the matches. You know, you play so many in a, but in a row as well. conversely, there's some that we would have played that I can't remember at all. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But most recently, I'll speak about the most recent one because I won it. <laughs> in, uh, in Krakow for the uh, European Games. So looking at the head-to-head, -head, it's... 6 nothing to Yamaguchi. That isn't that much of a surprise when it comes to Akane Yamaguchi, who's got a pretty good head-to-head -head record against, well, everybody else in the division, of really. Course. Well, really, I don't think there's much of a nemesis. That's actually something I'm going to check out. There's got to be somebody somewhere. Yeah, and Young might be the only contender for... Yeah, might be, might be. A higher head-to-head. -head. Let's have a look at Lina now, 29 years old. And Aarhus and ranked 30th has been as high as 16. And still to win a title on the world tour. He's been runner up on three occasions. Um, one of those times was, as I said, Scottish Open in 2018 to you. Yes. <laughs> it's great to say that in the commentary box as well. <laughs> and this is how she got here. It was Lauren Lamb and Yvonne Lee, 37 minutes for each of those and has yet to drop a game. Uh, pretty much flawless for her and a good start i said to get to the quarterfinals she was a quarterfinalist at the euro games and picked up a third spot at the orleans masters as well so third quarterfinal for her second semi-final of the year for akana yamaguchi it's a little bit different now ranked two has been as high as one well as you said from 2018 to 2023 um looking at the tenure of world number ones she took over from Tai Tsu Ying, of course, has just given that over to An Yong and has been a great world number one. It's Absolutely. Kind of really, yeah. really set the um, pace. This was, these were her results. Getting here, 37 minutes against Kitsu Kusumo Udani. That was comprehensive. Round two against Kim Gaian, that was a little bit shaky uh, because Kim Gaian actually had three game points against her in that first game. Couldn't convert them. Uh, brought real smiles to her face that she couldn't. I mean, they were open courts as well. And even to Yamaguchi, she went back to her, her coaches and was, was actually giggling at the fact that this was not going quite <laughs> the way it should. But the second game, she, as usual, settled into her rhythm and uh, her pace around court was unbelievable. So you, I said, you've played Lena a number of times. She's going to come into this as, the, as the underdog. Yeah. What could she possibly do? Has she got to match the pace of Yamaguchi first of all? I think so. I think it's a uh, case of matching the pace. Um, and trying to get on the attack. Yamaguchi is uh, a rally player. She has incredible shots, don't get me wrong. She makes you work hard for it. Um, but yeah, happier to, to take a less proactive role. Um, so it'll be interesting if she can come out all guns blazing and set a high pace, and Lena will have to very much deal with that. But Lena can be very dangerous in her attack, that's for sure. Well, let's see what happens. Our umpire and service judge for this one, Roberta's Tommy Oscar, Oscariana from Indonesia, and Li Wei, our service judge from China. We just saw them already in position, which means we are ready to get underway for this women's singles quarterfinal, as I said. It's a 12th quarterfinal for Akane Yamaguchi, of 14 events and from that a 10th semi-final is what she's looking for and the numbers just amazing absolutely amazing i said she's she's actually had a much quieter year because so much Ladies of the news reel has been on so young right. that I'm she's just quietly gone about her business still doing exactly what she did before and but Anse Yong somehow has managed Nina to do even more Boy, Kerswell, exactly if you were to see yamaguchi's results Yamaguchi separately 
you would think love all yeah. that must be the best performer in the world and then right. And then you look at Anthony Young and go, what? That's got to be a possible? robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's got to be a Something cyborg. you do think, though. All respect to Anthony Young. Those are cybernetic results that she's been done. New world champion, of course, and now has her eyes so firmly over. set on the Asian Games One. and no. the Olympics as well. When people were oh. really breaking down Akane Yamaguchi's game, they, they came to the conclusion that the only really vulnerable spot would be round the head. Because she uh, never takes a backhand. Yeah, <laughs> that's it, just, just off in the, rear on the corner. backhand side. But now she's made up for that by getting Two. even faster and, and getting around the shot. So Absolutely, her court coverage is, is something to be yeah. studied, studied for sure. Yeah, to be, I think, maybe five foot. Yeah. Five foot one. Yeah, something like that. On a, on a good day, um, and to cover the court like she does is uh, is so impressive. I think the last time I played her was uh, with Tokyo Olympics. I was in uh, Yamaguchi's pool. One. I did not win that. <laughs> uh, in case you were wondering. Um, shocking. But yeah, <laughs> I was absolutely shocking. I was in Lena's position, and I was the underdog. <laughs> But it's a good start here from Lena. Both players just kind of settling into the match. Unlucky on that shot from Lena. That was close into that drifty corner. So far, keeping pace. Service over. Four, two. I think due to her smaller stature, I think one of one tactic Lena is going to have to try to prey on is to make Yamaguchi's court feel very big. Yeah, she is running. good at covering the court, but it will take a lot of energy. Well, that's a nice Sense little over. cheeky return. Three, it's a little four. drop yeah, of the racket head Look out there. for those as well. But you're right, keep her moving. Keep her in recovery mode, even if her recovery is amazing. You have to keep her really stretching for those shots. Four. Oh. And then if you can snatch the first game, well then the second might be a little bit easier to approach. But as I said, she was under pressure by Kim Gaon. I've watched Kim Gaon play Yamaguchi four. two or three times since the career open. And Kim Gaon has definitely been stepping up and getting better and doing exactly what you said, pushing her around the court. Looking for those winners on the flanks. Oh, another nice. little net card. Too high. Six. Four. So Yamaguchi, two point lead, dashes ahead, gets this kill. Speaking of uh, expressive players in the in the last match that we watched, uh, Yamaguchi is not one of them. No. And I, do you know what? I actually kind of love it. I, I think it's great. I, I think it's there's placid, and then there's statuesque, Sounds which is what this Stoic. is. Five. Stoic. I've never been able to read anything about what she's thinking, whether it's between matches, between points, between games, even sometimes in interviews. You uh, just can't read her at all. Well, for me, so it's. it's um, it was a fault and that Service over. actually travelled out the back Seven. as well. Five. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the perfect example for me was last year in Tokyo World Champs. She won it and she, not even like a showing teeth smile, <laughs> just a smirk, a, a little bit of a grin. Slight upturn of it outside of her lips, yeah. I did see her actually fully smile once, and that was at the Badminton Asia Championship in Dubai. Uh, to her team. She turned to her team. She was like, yay! I was like, what? <laughs> Amazing. But the director actually knew her. So they, they put a slow down replay of it because it was so, it was so infrequent. 
Now she's beginning to exert her influence on this first game. That's a nice. Nice. Nine. Game. Five. For being such a small person, she can make herself feel rather big. Yeah. Just you don't really feel like there's many spaces on the court. Mm -hmm. And then perhaps you start second guessing where you should put the shuttle. That's the thing. Everyone starts with a great plan, as Mike Tyson said, until you get punched in the face. Yeah. And I've seen a lot of players start very, oh, very yeah. well. Uh, but then once they are you know, stretched on their own side of the court, then those little errors turn up. And she has this amazing ability to just keep powering on. As you said, Anne Young has really upset the division a bit. And I think in the games, in the matches she's played against Yamaguchi as well, you can see that so her over. precision accuracy Ten. where she is has Six. really stretched. Akane, um, I think secretly behind that stoic look, she actually enjoys that. I think she's Absolutely, got to yeah. really love the fact that there's the big four, Chen Yufeng, Tai Tzu Ying, and um, so it's over. And Anse Yong. Seven. And so two of them already in the semi-finals. He Bing Zhao and Chen Yufei still in the mix there as well. And we've seen it before that the top four seeds so it's over. So 11-7. 11, 11, seven, seven, and after a great start for Lina, it's, as I said, she's smiling because she feels the pressure. Everyone does. Back on court for this second phase of game one. Played at a pretty decent pace, 18 points on the board, seven minutes on court. 11-7. Play. Good little change 12, of pace from Yamaguchi seven. there. I think one of the biggest strengths of Yamaguchi of Anse Young, I would put Tai Tzu Ying and seven. probably Ratchnock in this category too, is their calmness yeah. and they never look flustered and if they are it's half a second and then they've miraculously recovered and yeah. they're in a perfect Back position that's a lovely shot from over Lina. That's Eight, absolutely 13. brilliant from Chaos Felt. like I say just making that court feel very big from Yamaguchi making her work those long diagonals Long. Service over 14 8. That's in. No challenge coming. Service Did look like over. it skidded across that back Nine. line. 14. Might have taken a touch to her shoulder, actually. <laughs> ha, what a shot. Whoa. What a shot that Might was. Might have been a little bit of a trick for me to play there. Just look at a control on this. And where it ended up, unbelievable. Fifteen nine. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Good shot. Service over. Ten. Fifteen. 
Well, the really worrying thing is that while this has been a great performance by Lina, it's still first gear from Yamaguchi. She hasn't really had to push herself. She's willing to play out the rallies, as you've seen. Soak up everything that turns up. Absolutely, yeah. I think Lena is still very much in this in this game. She's doing some good work. But it's just it's, it's you're playing yeah. your best stuff and I think when you're playing her. when you're playing the top three 16. or the top four in the women's division yeah. especially, it's not about your unforced errors anymore because your errors are basically forced exactly. by the other side. It's forced errors all the way. So you've got to credit them for the challenges for putting in it was very, very hard work. Service over 11, 16. Yamaguchi. Well, 11, 16. And I don't know why the umpire just called Akane over to her bag. Play. I don't think they really needed that, but didn't change the racket. Serves tried, over. Tried the deep serve. 17, 11. Oh, it's a great shot by. I mean, a great return. So hard to so hard to stick to the plan. Yeah, Lena's very much a player that you can you can tell what she's thinking when she's on the court. Oh, but nice! That's the thing in, in badminton, you really just haven't got the time. In tennis, 12, for example, you, you while you're running, you've got a lot of time to think about what kind of shot you're going to do. Yeah. Up against the top players here, you've got well, half that time, a third of that time, yeah. millisecond if not to not just decide what you want to do but then execute it and that's not easy 13 18 well that's a good little run couple of points again not impossible a little improbable from this point based on Yamaguchi's stats but that's why newspapers have headlines <laughs> They're just 40, waiting 80. for underdogs to step up and do the business. Absolutely. If I know Lena, like I think I know Lena, she won't go down without a fight. Yeah. Well, I watched one match a couple of days ago. I, it was in the doubles, Ranka Reddy and Shetty against Fikri Maulana. And, you know, the best attacking pair were defeated by just a masterclass of defending. That was yep. amazing the defending that Fikri Maulana put in. And they're still in it, actually. They've not been ousted. Oh, nice well kill there. Played. That's great. A really nice rally there. 15. A really well worked, you know. Set it up well, yeah. yeah. That's going to give her a lot of confidence. It's a great oh, ooh, just chest out, out. challenge yeah. coming. Oh, I don't know that looked on the outside. Yeah. Edge of the line, if best. A sliver, if anything. If anything, yeah. I think good call from the line judge. Yeah. Yeah. Those challenge feathers. Unsuccessful. Can draw your eye One challenge yeah. remaining. Service over. So 19, 19 15 yeah. on serve for Yamaguchi. Yeah. And Play. looking good to take this first game. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's those cheeky little ones where you try to kind of punch into those back corners a bit. 15. And that's just the perfect height for the shuttle just to continue to travel in this hall. So five game points. That was a great reset by Yamaguchi after the net court. 21-15. First game won by Akane Yamaguchi. In 15 minutes. 15. And the wall number two's charge continues. For two, 20 seconds. For two, 20 seconds. Second game, love all, play. So back on court for game two. One, the love. The Kelsfeld will now have a chance on the better side of the court. with this side of the court for Lena comes a bit more freedom to do shots like that but with the skip plans like that from Yamaguchi yeah, it's Two. rough what I call a transitional defense an offensive defensive shot yeah it just turns the tables that was beautifully into the corner really oh, using that yeah. rear forehand but again, that was one of those incredible Seven, recovery shots for one, Yamaguchi. Two. <laughs> Just leans down. Yeah, what well, Lena will have to be careful. She's playing some really nice shots. Um, but almost like her best shots are still coming back and sometimes with interest from Yamaguchi. So she needs to be really steadfast and not trying to go for more or tighter or closer to the lines. Well, I'm expecting and to see a little bit more from Yamaguchi in this second game because now she has the freedom to do a little bit of R&D considering her next match if she wins this could be Chen Yufei and could be Hei Bing Zhao so it's yeah. three. just try One. and work the engine a little bit yeah get fully up to speed especially from this side of the court because that might make a huge difference in those big big matches service over two three I got the feeling she didn't like that shot. Her head kind of tilted there was a, a couple of degrees. Tilt. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, that looks like sadness. Right, well. <laughs> That's good. Sends over. Four, two. Over. 
it does really move into all of our shots with like with full confidence. She will really commit to all of our shots. I think that's exactly what she has to do here. That's to have exactly to stand a chance. Yeah, you've got over nothing to lose now. Five, three. Challenges call. Now, this is a challenge out. I want to see because they actually did look in. Tricky one. It maybe wasn't as out as it first looked like it might be. <laughs> With that little oh, tiny bit of left to right wind, we're about to find out. Yeah. Um, no. yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge hey, remaining. I would say uh, we noticed it yesterday, but the line judges have actually been pretty on point yeah. in this tournament. Fair play to them because it is a it is a tough job. Well, that's nice. Sounds over. From Mina, she's done well there. Four, six. And she's keeping pace. It's two points back in this second. Very nice shot. Nice little pop up and over. Well left. Yeah, that's good from Lena. Really committing to that net. Five, six. Taking charge there, forcing Yami get to lift. And it's very hard to control it on that side. for the players as you can Seven, tell six. from the extra noise that you're hearing there is a Chinese pair that's playing <laughs> court three and it's been great support for, for the home pairs and players all week we're about to see it on court two as well a little bit later on with Lu Guangzhou great to see so many of them still representing as we move into finals weekend a mistake from Yamaguchi six. and it's a good little break from Lena here. Yeah, she's found herself in a good position. She's taken charge of that net. Yamagish has made a couple of errors around that net area. But Lena's done well to take advantage of it, fair play. Oh, Yamaguchi thought about leaving that on that sideline. Service over. Seven, eight. That's the thing, it's not just about the outright winner, it's about the setup beforehand and the follow through afterwards. If you can keep that pressure on, you might have a chance. 7 8. There's a backhand. <laughs> That's amazing. Eight. It's not just that oh. shot, the shot beforehand as well, which just tipped it over the net. Yeah, you would think you see it had, here. Yeah. That one. You'd then this one. <laughs> the first one was like, oh, she's down and out. And then just the, the speed of the recovery to being back to cam position. Unbelievable. Nine. And the accuracy eight. as well. Nine eight. Nine eight. I think Lina is going for putting some 
pressure at the back, rear corner here. We're trying to spread the court at the back, but that, it's a little risky with the sidelines. Yeah. So you have to really keep it into, under control. I think you're looking to put pressure on those back corners and then go tight net. And like I say, we're trying to make Yamaguchi's court space. feel very yeah, big. Court. Contrastingly, you could choose to go box, and go longer nets, and then punches over. But in this hall, I think that's very difficult to control those punches, although that was that very worked. nice. That worked very Service well. over. Nine, ten. Now, if she can just keep pace with the score line here, try and make an attack after the mid-game interval. And as you said, keep stretching out that court as much as she can. Looking for those very tight opportunities for a winner. That's the thing. You don't even you don't have to have. That line. Over you don't have to have 11, a big lead nine, yeah. against these top players. You just want to be within one or two Keep points, and then and, and then and anything it. can happen. So as they move to the mid-game interval, it's eleven nine. Second phase of game two. Eleven nine. Play. Nice, very nice. Seven Good pressure over. on that next Ten. phase. Eleven. Eleven as well. And I was just saying, great to have so many home pairs and players represented at this stage of the tournament. Well, the other women's single quarter final, Hei Bing Zhao and Chen Yufei, is of course guaranteed one of those home players in the semi-finals. That's now taking place on court one. Seven silver, twelve, eleven. Well, I wonder if this scoreline being so close now, if we're really going to see Yamaguchi try and change what she's doing. She might be happy to, I said, play out the evolution of points as it happens now. Yeah. Maybe it's a bit close for her. She may just, uh, I think 13, it's kind of up to Lena to, to bring something to the table here. To force that extra gear. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Lena's going to have to do something to stick with the pace that Yamaguchi has shown that she can play year on end. But we have 14, a little bit of a gap here now. 11. Um, yeah, a couple of great winners. <laughs> yeah, a couple of like injections of pace there from Yamaguchi. She just looked like she had those two shots just ready to go in case she needed them. 14-11. Hustling. That's good. Yeah. Service over. 12. The good trajectory, 14. just punch up and over. Yamaguchi make her take those a few extra steps to get to the back line rather than just a straight interception.
change. Couldn't control that. Seven so far. Fifteen. Twelve. Again, lifted over, just the right angle, just out of reach. She's maintained that four-point lead. I think Lena is correct to go in with kind of racket at like upper hands rather than an underhand, and to kind of push on Yamaguchi, but she has to be ready for that next one or find a back corner yeah. and force a slightly weaker or looser reply because Yamaguchi is is going to be pretty good in that box space in the mid-court. Again, just picks the angle, changes the racket 17, head, 12. finds a lot of space on the right side. Yeah, you see how much Lena's feet are committed over to that forehand yeah. side, which is, I mean, correct, that is percentage-wise of where it's going to go, but... Sometimes, if there's so this other cover, percentages, it's 13, the last 5%, 17. it's the last 10% that yeah, comes going to find that. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to make it look easy as well. 7, oh, 13, 17. Service over. Oh. Can't be 18, too hard on yourself, it's 13. not the easiest task. And as you said, it looks like she's not giving up. There's these two strays, errant Nine shots. I've actually 13. seen that said in the Kim Gaon match as well. Kim was laser focused for the first game. I said had a few game points, but when it got to this stage in the second, it just seemed like there was huge weight on her shoulders. Yeah, Yamaguchi's yeah, 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 just not really going to to make those kind of... Yeah. So a challenge errors. coming here. From what I could see on the screen, I, I thought it was in, but... Oh, here I it comes, the undisputed Lina thought it truth. Was in too. She sent the shuttle back already. <laughs> challenge unsuccessful. No That's challenges remaining. As in as it gets. 20 match point 13. So seven match points. Play. Yamaguchi on the brink. Her tenth game. semi final. And that's game. Well, a good performance from Lina Karsfeld. Uh, usual performance, I'd say, from Yamaguchi. She really worked herself out. Max and is looking Akari in good form Yamaguchi, this week. 21, yeah, 21, 21, and there you go. Again, doesn't look overly happy about it. <laughs> just yeah, just another just day, the, another day in the office, really. Yeah. It looked like a bit of a smile there with her coaches, but and a bit of a swagger as she moves to the to the bag but it's bits that you see it's not everything yeah and Felina well as it is as, as I'm, I'm sure you've seen before it's a learning experience when you play big players like that 21 15 21 13 33 minutes and Akane Yamaguchi is through to her 10th semi-final So, 
here at the evening session on court two. And Akana Yamaguchi through to her 10th semi-final. Up next is the men's doubles. It's an all-Malaysian affair. And that's great, of course, as it guarantees a Malaysian semi-finalist. Ong Yu Sin and Tio Yi taking on Aaron Cha and So Yik. has been a great performance up here in China for Malaysian pairs. As you can see from the morning session, one of the semi-finals is already uh, determined. Toki and Kobayashi taking on Liang and Wang. And the winner of this match is going to play, has the daunting task, I think, of playing either the newly crowned world champions Kang and Xiao or Fikri and Maulana, who have had a fantastic run this week.